Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tito Claw. So please welcome your host, James Deacon. Woohoo, that's me. Hello, guys. What's up, Tito James here with the rest of the crew? Yep, if you're joining us here on YouTube, welcome because you're the only ones here. <laughs> the overlords over at uh, Facebook have decided enough is enough. Uh, going live is just too much freedom, I guess. Whatever it is, they've just stopped it, right? So with no warning, we are kicked out of Facebook or kicked out of at least the live streams and uh, no explanation as to why. So we're going to have to figure this out together. We're just going to have to sort of uh, pumple our way through it, I guess, and uh, make the most of it. Um, with the YouTube version of this. So, yep, if you're out there on YouTube right now, pop us a message, say hi. It would really be good to see somebody out there because, yeah, most of, you know, not most, like 99 point something percent of the viewers come from Facebook. So with them removing the live stream, we're in a little bit of trouble. But anyway, we got two viewers. Sad, right? At this stage, we normally have like 400, 500. But uh, I guess that's just... We're just going to have to work it out. Ah, oh, there you go. See? There's Silk. Is it Silk Phillips? Silk. You know what? Silk, enjoy the uh, enjoy the, the peace and quiet here, man. You're, you're, I don't know if this is a guy or girl, but if this is awesome. You're like one of very few people right now who's tuned in. It's a very rare occasion. Normally, you would see these comments flooding. Well, now you got the place all to yourself. So party over in the comments box if you're here from YouTube. Have a lot of fun. Let's just make it a nice little intimate gathering. How about that? We'll keep it short. We'll keep it brief. And then we'll try to get this problem fixed. Um, yeah. So speaking of the problem, uh, Augusto is here. Uh, I think James looking good as always. Christiana Williams is also here. So yeah, we, we've got a couple of people. It's 15. Like I said, it's not exactly what we're used to, but it can get intimate and we can sort of have a bit of fun with this as well. So hang out with us. We'll reward you at the end. We've also got a uh, special DD Pi dash cam that we're giving away. This is going to be fantastic. Um, I'm really excited about this. But let's kick things off the way we normally do by checking out the latest in headlines. And for that, we need Chris. Chris, talk to us, Chris. Give me more good news, Chris. Better than what Facebook is giving us. Oh, yes, Tito James. Hi, everybody. Happy Friday, my fellow Tito Clockers. Woo! Now, this is Chris, and here is your Tito Clock News. Okta Research informed today that the COVID-19 daily positivity rate in the National Capital Region, or NCR, jumped to 14.6% in July 20, compared to 14% in July 15. Positivity rate refers to the number of people who were found positive for COVID-19 among the number of individuals tested. Octa fellow Guido David projected today 1,110 new COVID-19 cases in NCR. David also projected 3,000 new cases nationwide. He stressed that vaccines remain effective against the virus. David urged the public to get their booster shots as the immunity offered by the vaccines wanes over time. Human Rights Watch called on President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. today to prioritize resolving human rights issues and to acknowledge them in his first State of the Nation address or sauna. HRW advised Marcos to take the following actions. Drop all cases against former Senator Laila de Lima and Rapplers Maria Reza. Order the Philippine National Police and the Interior Department, Department of Justice and NBI to stop abusive and unlawful raids and conduct credible investigations. Repair the Philippines' damaged credibility with the International Criminal Court or ICC by ensuring his government's full cooperation with its investigation. Overturn the National Telecommunications Commission's decision to block the websites of two news organizations, Bulatlat and Pinoy Weekly, and several non-governmental groups. Appoint members to the Commission on Human Rights who have proven track records for upholding human rights and reputations for independence and impartiality. The Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, or PAGASA, said today the country may experience two to three more typhoons inside its territory for the rest of July. However, PAGASA weather specialist Benison Estareja said that the country is not expecting any typhoon to form until the weekend. 
but the entire province of Palawan is expected to have overcast skies with rainy weather today due to a low pressure area or LPA currently located 185 kilometers west of Calapan City, Oriental Mindoro. Estereja said that the LPA has a slim chance of becoming a typhoon in the next 24 hours and is expected to dissipate while in the West Philippine Sea. Meanwhile, the easterlies or the warm winds coming from the Pacific Ocean will bring a fair weather condition with partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers to the rest of the country, according to Pagasa's bulletin. The new chairperson of the Film Development Council of the Philippines, or FDCP, veteran actor Tirso Cruz III, officially assumed his duties. The FDCP gave the public a peek at Cruz's first day as chairperson via its Facebook page yesterday, July 21st. He was accompanied by his daughter Janine, director Joey Javier Reyes, and lawyers Patricia Lenajo and Chris Likigan to discuss preparations for the transition process. Cruz, as one of the appointees of President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., took oath as the new FDCP head at Malacanang Palace earlier this month. This came amid former President Rodrigo Duterte's reappointment of Lisa Dino as the agency's chair last March. Dino, who was first appointed as FDCP's head in 2016, earlier welcomed Cruz as the new chair, but disclosed that she had received no official communication about the said appointment. Supposedly, she was to serve another three-year term under the agency, lasting until 2025. Those were the latest in headlines, and now a friendly reminder to keep our cool as we head over to... Come out the corner. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, Chris, what you got there? All right, Tita Don't James. Up, a bit of a bad mood Facebook, okay? So you got to be extra gentle on I the know. Okay? I shall wow. try. Sabo. <laughs> I know. I I, I was waiting. <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, anyway, let's yeah, let's, 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 uh, part. So here we go. First one, inhale, exhale, and Tita James. First one is called surprise person. Wow, wow. Is that is that Skyway? Yeah, that Skyway. Wow. All right. Mm -hmm. Wow. So yeah. Okay, pedestrian. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm. Pacing, <laughs> pacing. Uh, yeah, if I don't pacing. react, it's just because I'm pacing. You like my dead plant? <laughs> you like my dead plant over here? Why? <laughs> what happened there? And <laughs> by I know. I came back from Paris, and it was like dead. The oh lamp was dead. The tree was dead. Love, man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should speak to it in French. <laughs> Try saying bonjour every time. <laughs> All right, okay. Tito James, the next one. I call this Kamoteng Coops because I have no other words. I, yeah. I was about to post this, but I, I, <laughs> I'm not sure because, like, okay, I was about to post it, but then the. Uh, part of it is again, is this a dead end? I mean, can people really be be this basus, or where is where the photo being taken, like a wall or something, like um, a dead end? Possible? We're not, we're not really sure, basso. but yeah, it it could be a possibility. Pero kasi, yeah. why would the person take a photo though? That, well, and, that's the thing. I mean, I I just avoided posting it when I got it because I thought, I mean, look, stranger things and weirder and more basus things have happened, but. Giving the benefit of the doubt because it's really, I mean, if you park like this and this is a through road, um, mm -hmm. or even just a few houses are, are still left, it's really bastos. But yes, I don't know. I mean, even let's just give the benefit of the doubt that there's like a, a fence or a wall or something like that. I mean, it's still kind of far from the wall, right? And it's still a public road, but okay. Um, I just avoid posting it because I'm really not sure the backstory. And I want to be, I don't want to. Great problem. So yes, it, still, it does look, it does look, but do we, and I, I do get so many 
uh, messages from people about like how people park in their streets and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a very touching too. True, true, true. Even here yeah, in my exactly. here, Cristiano <laughs> said this. Okay, Cristiano said could be staged. You get like this is what oh. always brings to mind when when I get um when I get like videos or photos that mm. are not self-explanatory like it doesn't tell the whole story i'm very careful about that because there's there's also this equal um counterculture of people trying to just go viral for no reason and they'll purposely edit thing and stuff like that i'm not saying this is the case but that's that's why we you know i avoided it but still weird still weird that's that that's a good point <laughs> anyway Anyway, the next one is what I call another something from an action movie. Like oh, how does wow, wow. Okay. Okay, I don't know. If, I don't think this is I don't think that's staged. I was going to say <laughs> I, mean... I don't think this is staged. It's a lot of effort to go to for a viral video. True. Unless of course it's a movie. <laughs> yes, this is a movie cuz I feel like it's from an action movie and there. Yeah. <laughs> You, look, look at us. Look, look how jaded we are, right? Yeah. We're already seeing it in, in video and we're going, I don't know. I don't trust these bastards. True. <laughs> Maybe it's like editing. Doubting, doubting our own eyes because we're like, our faith has become so jaded over time. True. But yeah, I don't know the backstory. <laughs> but an upside down car being spun around by police, it could either mm -hmm. be a, whatchamacallit, a, a movie or, yeah, there's a, there's a serious camote in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what's not staged though. Nobody mm -hmm. knows what's happened to that SUV driver, the viral you one from you know? Is that the, still the same thing? Well, yeah. I, I posted it today and asked, is there, are there any updates? Does anyone have anything? Because he's just he's just falling off the face of the earth, the story, you know. True. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The fact that you know it can go that viral and then we're not we're not given an explanation afterwards that that's just not fair mm -hmm. that's going to cause anarchy that's true that's true 100 percent. all right next <laughs> next one is called sana all <laughs> sana all has your back let's see it let's see it oh, got your back. i got, got your back, back. <laughs> <laughs> sana all Presan po ang helmet po. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. I got your, your head, Sana. It would be nice if they're wearing helmets. But, uh, well, I right. got your back. <laughs> Baka Krypton <laughs> siya. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Baka ka Superman, hindi, siya, hindi niya kailangan ng helmet. O, oh, diba? <laughs> FPS1 says, provisionally dismissed out of court settlement. Um, I'm guessing we're talking about the viral oh. Yeah, that that you don't leave people much room for their assumptions and drawing their own conclusions if you don't update them. And you know, you can say, well, it's not really a matter of public. Yes, it is because it was caught on public on camera. They had a press conference crying out loud. Mm -hmm. so the public deserved the. Uh, we deserve that finality, the closure. We That's need to true. know. You know, you you've yeah. lost that right to privacy when you committed that act publicly. And it yeah. was caught on public video on a public road. So nobody invaded your privacy. You did it in full view of everybody. You had your public press gone. And now that you have done out-of-court settlements, you were like, well, we want our privacy. It doesn't work that way. True. I mean, I, maybe they can argue some legalities of how it works that way. But it doesn't work that way with human nature. And you're going to have a very big problem on your hands later on. If not mm -hmm. now, if not right now, because, you know, it takes a while to get people or it's going to come back and bite you later on because somebody's going to use this as a precedent to do something even worse so True. i'm so disappointed about this 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 SUV guy yes so and as they say karma now is digital <laughs> <laughs> all right next. next last but not the least is what we call water with a possible kick John Water, purified like drinking it. water. This one's got Keep good vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for ending on a nice note there, Chris. 
<laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you also to all those who sent their videos and photos. Thank you for supporting Tita Clock and thank you for transferring to YouTube. Please don't forget to subscribe to Tita James's uh, YouTube channel para dumami ang subscribers. And that's all we have for today, Tita James. Enjoy the weekend. Advanced congratulations to our raffle winners. This has been Chris reminding everyone to avoid commodity people, but always choose happiness with some Sugar Rush. With that, follow Sugar Rush Entertainment PH on social media for your party entertainment needs. And follow me on my socials as well. Stay safe, healthy, and hydrated. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye! I tell you, that's, that's a voice that's been hit by a Sugar Rush, I tell you, every single time. She brings in the chirp, she brings in the vibe. It's Chris and her happy voice, and she can make even bad news sound good. So if you want to uh, get a hold of her, if for any reason you want to do, let's say, a, a voiceover or anything like that, uh, pop her a message. We always keep the socials on there just so you can get, uh, we can keep spreading this love around the community. Um, okay, you know what? Before we head into our next segment, I just want to say, uh, greet a few people because we didn't greet them earlier. Uh, for obvious reasons, it was a slow start. If you've just joined us, the slow start came because we are not allowed to broadcast live or stream this on Facebook for some silly reason. We don't know what it is yet, but Facebook are constantly, continuously just making changes or getting paranoid. Whatever it is, we're now here. It's a smaller community, but it's getting to be a lot of fun. I got to say, we got 90 people now and um, it's great. It feels a little bit more intimate. And maybe, maybe this could just even be for the better. Maybe this this is a, a blessing in disguise because we can create this, this online community on YouTube and it's not as jam-packed. I don't know. Let's just make lemonade out of the lemons that we've been given. But in the meantime, let me just say hi to Rachel Raimundo, um, Tiffany, Timothy Andres, Luis Salis Cruz. Um, who else we got there? I'll, I'll read it from the, the ones that uh, Y pops up there. Maria Solana. Um, Jay Garcia, welcome to YouTube. Augusto Liwana, weird and disrespectful, he says. Gurley De Leon, who's uh, hoping to win. Christiana Williams, um, Aldrin Monterio or Montiero, Laura Lee Navarro, the birthday on July 20. Happy birthday to you, Waldo Francisco. Uh, Brent Go, Ooh, all right. Hey, Brent, what's up? He also said earlier that the uh, quality is better on stream here, so that's good. And Kapalad and uh timothy andres and let's do a, about three more christiana williams so get a couple more marianne Manz mananzan and one last edwin cordonis okay so now we've greeted a few of you not all of you because now we're up to 98 let's see if we can break triple digits here triple right if we can hit 101 we hit it all right this is great and this means that we're now slowly migrating a few people um, not quite up to the normal numbers, but that's okay. Tito Clock has never been about the numbers. I think the OGs over here already know that. But for those who have just kind of joined us or are new to this whole podcast, it was never about that. There's always venues where you can get the numbers and the virality or all that kind of jazz. Tito Clock was created as a community effort to help get through a very difficult time. So we all had a shared struggle. Huh? All right. Hey, Brent's brother. Um, so it doesn't really matter to us whether we've got like a thousand, two thousand, five thousand people. It's the quality of the community that we really prioritize over here. So if you've made that extra effort to spend that time and jump another link to get from Facebook to here, I salute you. We all salute you. Thank you very much. We'll make it worth your while. This is a place where we exchange ideas. We exchange news. We exchange prizes. <laughs> And we just have a bit of fun together. So with that in mind, let's move on to our next segment, which we designed as part of the culture of Tito Clock to help out those who are pivoting into something new. We call this Free Plug Friday, where we give smaller businesses, uh, home businesses, a chance to be able to promote their products for free simply by sending us a message on the Deaconitis Instagram account. And for that, we need X. X, what you got in the box there, X? Hi, DJs. We actually have a lot in store once again. But before we go there, I just want to say hi to all Tito Clockers. Welcome to another edition of Free Book Friday. Ooh, all right, face your, dias. face your eyes on the screen. Tito James, let's start Free Book Friday with something sweet from Bake It With You. So, Tito James, Bake It With You started as a passion project 
as a way to relieve stress during the height of the pandemic. So the owner sent some of her best sellers, such as her moist chocolate cake and the blueberry cheesecake. How did you find her cakes, Sweetie James? I wanna bake it with you. Yeah, only the Titos would know that song. Um, I, love I loved that. it. I only tried the chocolate cake though, mm -hmm. and it was moist. I love it too. For Very moist. For chocolate, I actually love the icing. Mm. And I, I kind of had to stop there because it, it no, was, was such a big cake. It is. A, it Once was a big nice, cake. It's so was, tall. was. Was. Oh, so you guys finished it. Totally. I well, there's a little bit. There's yeah, a yeah. little bit there, but it really was delicious. It really and you know, icing on the cake. I hate to admit it, but you know, I, I was watching uh, uh, some Netflix last right, night. Right, and right. And um, okay, okay. I put it in a cup. Like, yeah, cake in a cup. Cake in a cup. Yeah, cake in a cup. It's a new thing. Funny you mentioned that. You just they, heard about it here. Funny you mentioned Kita Jays because they actually also have cakes in tin. Oh, really? Tin cans, yeah. yeah. I just put it in like a mug, coffee oh, mug, and then I just have because it's so moist. So you don't really need to, you know, do anything. Just exactly. like cut it as a cake or anything. You can just eat it like a, a pudding. <laughs> that's that's true. That's true. so guys, apart from this, they can also have that in customized cake, but still using the moist chocolate cake as a customized theme cake or money pulling cake or letter or number cake and they offer other cake flavors as well guys price starts at 50 pesos each and they even have cupcakes at 50 pesos 400 pesos for their tin can cakes and price starts at 800 pesos for their round cakes again pick it with you on facebook and instagram next we go to glorious blend so tita james glorious blend offers 100 percent organic and natural stevia products such as three in one and up to seven in one coffee mixes Choco mixes, sugar-free tea that comes in two flavors, hot tea, lemonade, maxi trim for those who are looking for an L-carnitine in their drink, which is a known fat burner, and even of course the stevia itself as well. So, did you just have you ever have you tried any of these to James? I have not yet, but I'm looking forward to it because I love stevia. Well, actually, mm -hmm. I like sweet. If I'm really honest, I like sweet, and I can't obviously take too much sugar. Uh, and even though not just at my age, but just too much sugar is exactly. bad for anyone exactly. at any age. That's Stevia um, is the natural one, isn't it? Yes. It, it's a natural exactly. alternative. So it's not like that aspartame and, uh, you know, that, uh, it's, a, it's a healthier alternative. Yeah, that's true. So that's true. I, I am definitely looking forward to trying all of them. And, um, yeah, especially like the, the cold drinks, lemonade, you know, you got to be very it's careful very with your, right? yeah, the yeah. calories that you exactly. drink. You know, exactly. that's where they hide a lot of it. So I, I want, really want to try this. Yeah. And the, the cool thing is each coffee mix, because I then mentioned to you that it's three up to seven in one. And each mix includes different ingredients from malungay to mangosteen and even gotu cola, which I've never heard of until today, by the way. So guys, price starts at 73 pesos for the three-in-one coffee mix that has 10 sachets inside. 114 pesos for the stevia that already has a pack of 30 sachets inside and the price starts at 268 pesos for the iced tea again glorious blend on facebook instagram and lazada next we go to redux upcycles so tita james redux upcycles offers upcycled punctured inner tubes and fabric scraps to promote environmental sustainability and awareness so they offer different kinds of wallets for pocket wallets Bifold wallets, tarpaulin card wallet, and bags such as toiletry bags, handlebar bags, messenger bags, saddle bags, sling bags, so much to choose from DJs. And what's cool is these can even be customized as well. But you know what's cool with the James? It's raffle time! time! Alright, guys, read up upcycles are giving away a set of bag and wallet to how many DJ James? To five, five lucky DJ winners. Cars. Wow. Yeah. What should they put in the comment section, Peter James? Um, I don't know because uh, I'm just thinking maybe put like because these guys got tired of pollution. Tired, oh, so, that's a good one. That's channel. a good one. Uh, so maybe they can put a tire. Yes. I don't know, just put a tire maybe, in there. Yeah. That'll signify that we are they're using inner tubes for tires that's awesome. and upcycling them. I think it's a great that's idea. That's awesome. That's awesome. So guys, good luck again. There's bonus points for what? those who laughed at my joke about getting tired of pollution. And yeah. they get to win the raffle. Yeah, I automatically. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so guys. Again, read up upcycles on Facebook and Instagram. Last but not the least, we go to Habonero's, the best choice of food. It's a restaurant located in Habonero Street in Binondo, Manila that offers different pizza flavors and different flavors of chicken wings, tempura, and they even offer only wings and only rice for only 249 pesos. That's great. That's great. That's so, guys, great price. price for the pizza if you're not looking for some only wings, only rice. 
price for the 10 inch pizza starts at 208 pesos and hope you can pay them a visit at their branch in Pinondo so you can try it out yourself again Habaneros on Facebook. Well, that's all we have for this week's edition of our Facebook Friday. Stay safe and always, always sanitize clockers. This is X. Peace out. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Woo! 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 Rocket, 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 rocket. Good luck, Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. All right, we have a little bit of an issue. Uh, let me see uh, how do we explain this. Uh, okay, so we have a bit of a raffle, but we have a bit of a problem because uh, normally we would be able to do the raffle from here because we're doing a live raffle and the problem is because of facebook denying it um it won't pick up the youtube comments so what we'll do is uh we'll do a very quick um hmm, i'll figure something out we'll do like a little competition or something uh, something simple maybe a qu quiz or something like that and then we'll first answer and then we'll just take note of that how many we got five, five. we got five winners okay so give us a minute to figure that out but uh, in the meantime Here's our segment we call Ask Me Anything, and it's brought to you by Motorlite. Pangmatagalan. All right, we'll come back to um, the raffle a little bit later on anyway. We normally draw that by the end of the show. So uh, in the meantime, it's the Ask Me Anything portion. Oh, we already got one. I was going to start with. I just want to ask, can you make it bigger? Because my eyes are really bad. Um, I just want to ask your opinion regarding purchasing a high-end EV. Do you think it's okay to purchase one or baka hassle pa at masakit sa ulo if ever I must see a rat? That's a very good point. Um, okay. I think EVs have come a long, long way. Sorry, I just had to turn the air con down a little bit. Um, I think EVs have come a very long way. So I don't think you, you're in that you should have to worry about baka masira and all that. This is proven technology already. Having said that, I would. There's a lot of new players in here, right? So that's where you got to be a little bit careful. I would not mess around with people who have no track record in doing this. And this is just my personal opinion now, because I would look at people who have had a lot of experience in it, because there are things that can go wrong, especially if they take shortcuts and stuff like that. You know, people like um, Nissan won't be doing that, right? They've been doing the Nissan Leaf for. I don't know how many years now, um, so many different EVs they've had since I think oh, I can remember driving my first EV in Tokyo, like Nissan was 10, 15 years ago. I mean, they've been doing it for a long, long time. And now they're bringing that in to the Philippines. So we've got the Leaf. Um, there's a new model coming up, which uh, uh, is a little bit secret at the moment, but there is a new model coming up. So you know that that's the way of the future. You want to go with companies that have the most history with it, the most track record, plus, of course, the brand equity to protect. They don't want to mess around by cutting corners and stuff like that. So I hope that answers your question. Nissan, for me, would be top of mind for EVs. Toyota for hybrids. And um, yeah, I would leave it at that. Now, if you got a lot more money, uh, you can play around with the Audis. The e-trons are fantastic. Really amazing cars. But of course, I think they start around the... Uh, 5 million mark and so that's a bit of a healthy chunk of change to put down on an EV. I don't think you're going to be putting that down to save a few bucks on gas. That's something like a lifestyle choice already. But the Nissans are definitely uh, well priced. Uh, no actual figure on the new one that's coming out but these are supposed to be uh, definitely under 2 million. And so makes sense. I would try that out first. Okay. Um, then Christiana says wait for the two uh, as well oh you want to pop in another one there hey you're anyone's welcome to ask anything uh have you gotten to nfts no i haven't i didn't understand how um i i got maria i understood i want to phrase this correctly i see the potential in it i understand the value of them per se what i don't understand is exactly what gives them value now when i say i understand the value I'm talking in the future, I can appreciate how an NFT will have a metaverse value because we are, we are all designed as humans to send signals and to, uh, what's the term I'm trying to, to use, basically like our shoes and stuff like that. We're always, we're always, why am I drawing a blank? Um, projecting? No, not projecting. Um, 
we need to basically know that we are why am i drawing a blank on this <laughs> i understand the value that they can have in the metaverse but i just don't understand which ones to choose right now because it's so early in the game the metaverse is not fully active so in other words i could see what the value would be to put let's say an nft piece of art in your metaverse world let's say you have your office or your home or whatever or you're wearing um nft rubber shoes on your avatar and stuff like that i can i can understand that it's signaling i think is the word i was looking for we as humans like this we, we do a lot of signaling so i can see how people would want to use a pair of nikes or adidas or whatever um brand and show that look this is original and so there i can see the value but i could not see what has value right now so is it the board eight yeah but how much is that so i left it alone that's the short answer i left it alone I could just answer it like that. I shouldn't know you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got ahead of myself. Renee says, what do you usually look at when buying a car? Do you go for brand first, comfortability? I like this question, Renee. I'm going to get up close here, a little bit closer, because I want to answer this problem. What do you, I look for first? Because I believe that if you're going with reputable brands, and that's the key word, reputable, because any of the top brands that are, that are known, they all pretty much do a decent job now with cars. It's not hit and miss like it used to be back 20 years ago and stuff where this was a much better car than that. There's a formula now. It's a, a, a manufacturing formula and pretty much everyone knows what they're doing. So having said that, the chance of getting a lemon are pretty low. So what I look for in a car nowadays is one, how it speaks of me because these are emotional purchases. Make no mistake about it. When people try to disguise them as logical purchases, I think um, they're basically trying to justify how they feel about the car. That's a logical, the logic that enters. So first I give importance to what that car communicates about me, what it says about my lifestyle, my personality, etc. So I have to be in love with it because I'm going to be paying for that car for the next five years or so. If I don't have that genuine feeling from the start and I made just a decision based solely on numbers and figures in my head and, and it's purely logical, when the crunk comes in, which is basically when the new car smell dies, you're going to be stuck with the payments for the next five years. It's not enough to, to keep you motivated. You need to be in love with that car. You need to have an emotional connection. So I look for that first. That's a very hard thing to describe because it's not tangible. It's nothing in the brochure that says it. It's how you feel about that car. Okay, that's number one. Once I establish, okay, this is a car I really want or love, or it says something about me, or I've always wanted it, things like that, I look at the brand. And the brand is important, not to signal so much, but in how it's going to be maintained and how I'm going to be looked after in terms of parts, service, and, and all that. So after that, I look for um, features are equally important. So I wouldn't put them in the hierarchy because that's equally important. I have certain features that are a must, like um, the safety features. I have to make sure it has all of them. Thankfully, most cars now do. They have the ABS the airbags and uh, all the electronics and the stability controls and all that. That's great. I look for the connectivity as well because that's more and more important, how it integrates with your smartphone, etc. Um, I look for the fuel consumption and um, the rest, I pretty much, I can, I can kind of sort of compromise with the rest if I have ticked those boxes because, again, it's not something that many people will tell you. But you do have to give importance to the emotional connection you have with your car. Many people don't say it because it's hard to quantify, but that's how I genuinely feel. And once you get past that hurdle or you're you're acknowledging that, then you will have a long lasting relationship with your car and you won't mind washing it, paying the insurance on it, um, paying the payments on it and all the other non romantic and non sexy things that come with owning a car. So hope that answers your question. What is my favorite car? There's, there's, that's so broad a question, um, but I think I like the, there's so many because I can't really put into one because if I said one, and let's just say I said it's a Lamborghini Aventador. Okay, yeah, it's a great car, but I'm not gonna drive that every day if I had the money, I just wouldn't. Even if I had the money, I wouldn't. So you wanna go for uh, something like a, a Porsche Cayenne. Okay, great, that's, that's a bit of a balance for me. I love the Cayennes. I love the, um, the, 
whatchamacallit, the other car that I really fell in love with was the Audi e-tron gt rs i thought that was a magnificent car electric ev and all-wheel drive it was just a sensational car really really incredible and the acceleration was out of this world so that would probably be at the moment and I, and you take it into context right when i say it's my favorite it's because it, it ticks a lot of boxes not necessarily because it's the most the fastest or the my dream car it's the most well-rounded I would either go for the Cayenne or the Audi e-tron GT RS. Which was the really phenomenal car. Uh, the best car I've driven Brent would be a Formula One car, but again, you see, impractical. But if I'm giving you a straight answer to the question, it is definitely the Formula One car. But then you got to bring that back into reality. So you go back into the, the Pagani as well, was a beautiful car to drive. But once again, way out of the... Uh, it, it, it's just too impractical. So, if I'm going to wrap it up in a in a nice little, how do you call it, uh, package, it would probably be the Audi GT RS. Yeah, it's really uh, the only thing that lacks in the GT RS. The only thing that lacks there is um, the, the the sound. That's it. Uh, if they could figure out how to create a better sound inside the car as you're accelerating just to be able to not be so muted because it's electric I think that would be absolutely perfect um, there was a question about the movie what's the best movie you've watched um, all time favorite movie I think would be uh, I love Forrest Gump I think it's just the most original feel good just brilliant fresh you know it was so different it was ahead of its time but it was it really it, it and it's never been duplicated so Forrest Gump would probably be my my favorite movie of all time um I watched uh, the gray man last night and that was a preview because Netflix are yet to release it when did they today oh today so it's it's officially released today and I got to interview the Russo brothers when do we release that by the way by next week we're going to be releasing that interview I had just literally before I got on Peter Clock I was able to interview um, Facebook as well you know, on Zoom, but uh, I was able to interview the Russo brothers, who are the directors of The Gray Man. They also directed uh, Endgame. They also directed Infinity Wars, Captain America. Um, super legit guys, right? And uh, so interesting movie. Um, wouldn't say it was my favorite for sure, but uh, it, it was very interesting, very and very nice. I just wanted to slip in and uh, interview the Russo brothers. So when you ask them about the movie, there you go. Uh, is it practical to use premium gas to our ordinary engine? I like this question too, Augusto, because um, it, there's there's a clear answer for me. No, it's not. And the reason for that is it's just like wasting money because what you're going to do is you don't get any advantage because if your car is designed for regular unleaded and you put premium unleaded in, all the advantages that you get from it are just basically thrown away because your car it's only designed to use the 93 or 94 octane and you put in 100 octane there it's not going to hurt your car but it's not going to help it either it's like overdosing on vitamin c you can't do it you'll just pass it as water later on so all the goodness will just go cyan right just save it use the regular use what's in your handbook and just stick to good quality brands i always stick with the throne I, I don't have a problem with it and it's just great to stay there because your car just gets used to it and People will say, oh, well, I'm a pattern difference with brands and, you know, they all have a certain standard. That That's true to a certain extent, but well, I'll tell you where there is a big difference with brands in the storage and how they store their fuel. Some do it better than others, where you don't get contaminants, you don't get water, you don't get any of that in it. And Patron being the biggest in the country, I just trust that. Uh, what's better in terms of track layout, the BRC or the Clark Speedway? Um, I good question. Um, there are sections of both that each has its own personality. I like the I overall I think I like Clark overall, but there are some corners in Batangas that really make me feel like you know, like that last corner coming into the uh, main straight, you're coming off a really fast sort of but you're coming off a bus stop and then you you're almost sliding off the track. As you're accelerating out, you're letting the car push itself. And if you're not careful and you end on the marbles, you're going to spin off. But 
it's really really heart racing because you know that you're you're gunning it you're just accelerating through it and you just gotta lift off a bit tuck the nose in and clip that apex onto the way it's just a stunning feeling when you get it right and clark doesn't really have that for me but clark has that tremendous straight and it also has that final corner where you're entering in third gear it's just not as scary as patangas but when you get it wrong it is um you want the straight answer don't you you don't want this long-winded answer oh clark i'll just say clark because also batangas hasn't been maintained the last time i went there it was not maintained so uh, a little too bumpy as well for me so clark Malang. um do you have uh pet pops or kitties hey maria thanks for asking yes i do just got one actually just got one uh call him marshall marshall the cat is an adorable scottish trait and uh super cool it here we go this is from Texas phone there's there's marshall the cat right marshall the cat thinks he's a dog very very cute he does have another eye you just can't see it right but there yeah trust me he has two eyes one's a bit uh, brighter than the other right there in that photo marshall is absolutely adorable pull it at anything um he plays like a dog he pants like he it's crazy he's free and he's so soft these little paws are supposed to oh, here we go. Let's see if we can give them that. They're extras. They're supposed to be taken. So, yeah, that's Marshall the cat. Um, so, yes. And um, I also have a, a golden retriever. And, um, yeah, we have a, a few more cats. Plenty. <laughs> Rocket has a playmate, but, uh, yes. Uh, Yes and no, because they, they, they still don't get along. So they're still fighting uh, a lot because there's a territory war going on over here. So, yeah, it, it's still, they're working it out. Hopefully they get there, but the last encounter they had, not to not be pleased with one another. <laughs> Who's my favorite Formula 1 driver? It's still Alonso, but um, while he's driving for, uh, well, he doesn't seem to have a chance at the moment um or hasn't for many years i would probably say you know are you talking um timothy i i'll answer your question two ways my favorite in terms of personality overall etc is probably um hmm. uh, this is hard because you see skill wise you really can't it's, it's very tough to beat lewis uh he really is amazing but Max Verstappen is also just, just crazily good. But he's just not, I think he's a little bit more arrogant and not quite with that whole personality. So it's hard to, I, I'm torn. I'm torn. I also like Charles Leclerc. Yeah, I think he's uh, really good. And I really would like to see him win a championship. Um, who else? Uh, Lando Norris. Uh, he, he's also really, really good. Um, who else we got there? Yeah, those guys, I think, so far. Used to like Ricardo a lot too, but um, I think he's getting his ass handed to him by Lando, right? So, uh, but you know what's another really interesting thing is how Formula One has just blown up. It's really done an amazing job over the pandemic and the last five years since it's been with Liberty Media. Uh, I was this was one of the topics that we were discussing in France in the FIA conference, and uh, we brought in some experts to talk about it, and it was fascinating the insights that they gave on how they more than doubled can you imagine more than doubled their audience in five years and that's all to do with liberty media and the fact that they opened up um a lot of access and they they work with the socials a lot so and netflix of course is a humongous part of that drive to survive next question please do you still have two two, two trailblazers no yeah and i don't i only have one left the black one which is the uh the, the last model they came up with at the 2017 model and i have it modified still i have like big rims on it lift kit you know shocks all the man even shocks suspension etc and uh it's i i love that car i really do um but i sold the white one and um yeah i didn't do that I didn't have that so this one yes it did randolph it, it helped reach a wider younger 
and female audience. They really got a massive boost in female uh, audience after that. So very good exercise in marketing. And that was part of what the FIA conference was about in Paris. Um, the one that I flew out for was to teach clubs and stuff because they also run motorsport clubs all around the world, the FIA, right? So from Formula One, which they own, which was new to me, by the way, I just thought they were the regulating body, but I learned in that trip that the FIA actually owned Formula One and rented the Liberty Media. Very, very interesting uh, setup they've got there. And they're trying to share with the, their clubs because they have 245 clubs, over 145 countries and 80 million members. So they were able to, this conference basically brings everybody in so you could try to learn from each other. And one of the test cases they were using was Formula One on how to improve and make it more accessible and promote the sports, etc. They do rally, they do um, MotoGP, they do this new Formula Racing called um, the Cross Car. The Cross Car, guys, watch out for that if they bring that over here. The Cross Car is the most affordable um, motorsport series I think we're ever going to see. And it just basically a tube chassis and it's fantastic and super affordable, super accessible. I hope that comes over here. All right, I think we have time for maybe one last question before we hit the raffle. And uh, that would be Wooling Mini AV is creating buzz lately in social media, it's even featured by other custom. Um, no, I don't have, is that the WM? No, that's not right. Wooling Mini EV. Um, Yeah, no, I can't, no, I don't know enough to, to give an opinion on that. But I would say this, that like going back to the first question, um, if it's me, if you're just asking me personally on a personal note, I would stick with um, the established brands first because obviously, yeah, you want to be supported. It's new technology. You don't want to be orphaned with a car that nobody knows how to fix. So I, I'm not saying that, you know, Wooling's doing that. I, I don't know. I don't know enough. I've made that clear. I think it looks cute. Yeah, looks cute. Nice, nice shape. But that's all I can I can only comment on the look right now. Sorry about that. But I'll look more into it. How about that? I'll look more into it. I think there's obviously a lot to learn there. All right. So that was our Ask Me Anything brought to you by Motolite Bang Matagalan. So it's over to everybody's favorite time. And we all know what that is. It is... It is raffle time, everybody. Okay. Um, there you go. You eat there, Rocket, and I'll just figure out something. Okay. So um, here's a couple of questions. See who is listening. What is... Name one movie the Russo Brothers directed. Just one. Any Russo Brother directed movie. First one to answer wins the uh, the bags. The bags. Hmm? Or, yeah, okay, first five, first five. Let's just do first five. Endgame. Okay, we're, it's in order here. So, Good Vibes TV said Endgame. Bliss. Wow, Bliss, no? Bliss. Yeah, I know. Okay, The Avenger. Okay, we're going to have to screenshot these and get back to you, okay? Because, um, <laughs> you got it? Do you know? Okay, but, yeah, we need to screenshot this, all right? Yeah, so X is screenshotting. Sorry, we're doing it a little bit old-fashioned way over here because it, our software got banned from okay so here's how you do it send your message to rocket and we'll make sure that uh, it's coming from the same account etc that's on ig okay the rocket launcher the dot rocket dot launcher with a screenshot and then we'll take care of the rest from there okay so now that that's well, that was quick <laughs> no, that was really quick well 
And I didn't really know we had that many uh, Russo Brother fans out there because I, I panicked a bit because I was like, oh no, I only know a couple few. I don't know their whole discography or whatever you call it. So thanks for that. All right, Rocket, are you ready? We need your magic. By the way, Rocket was... Uh, <laughs> I won't say that. Yeah, say well, uh, poor Rocket. Uh, you have the video? Yes. Where's the video? Okay. First, before we show the video evidence, we would like to mobilize the strong Auto Kid, Ogawa, Lala Move, Malayan Insurance, and Skinnabay, our proud sponsors of Pete the Block here today. So thank you very much. All right, now we're going to go <laughs> where Rocket uh, got showed up. Poor Rocket. We don't know. I know it's still a press to be Rocket. But uh, filmed the commercial for for Malayan Insurance the other day, and you see this. There was a little Jack Russell there, and uh, Rocket was showing up, right? Oh, you see, because this dog had to jump out of a burning building. Don't worry, that's just effects. The smoke's just effects, right? He had to bark on command, jump out of a burning building, and here we were thinking Rocket could do that, and. Uh, initially we're saying no why doesn't rocket do it and they're saying no we'll just get a professional talent we're like he was hurt he was like come on you know he's a professional talent then when we saw what he had to do rocket could see this okay you you will you do it so he's a little hurt you know because he got shown up and the dog had a lot more followers so you guys got to help him out you got to get more followers for him because the dog had like 1.4 million followers <laughs> So poor Rock. Then, then when he got back to the studio, he met the cat, and uh, <laughs> he got swiped by the cat. So you know he's feeling a little. You see, look at him. He's feeling a little down and out. All right. <laughs> Rocket, do you have enough energy to push the button? Because nobody does that better than you, Rocket. Nobody. You ready? Nobody. Look at this. Come on, Rocket. There you go. Look at everybody with those eyes. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> that was last week. <laughs> Congrats, by the way, to those winners. <laughs> Sorry, Rocket. Rocket, you pressed the wrong button, Rocket. <laughs> Blame poor Rocket. There you go. Yeah, just, just for that. You got your back. See how many see how many fans you got out there, Rocket. And it's not the it's not the quantity, you see. That he can have 1.4 million. You got 146 over here. But they're genuine fans. They'll stand by you even in your hard times when you press the wrong button, Rocket. See? Oh, I see they're all saying Rocket Fleet, so you are. Oh, please stop it. <laughs> not on live video, Rocket Fleet. So then tragically, are you ready? You sure this is the legit one, huh? So, just to answer your question, the, the raffles of the price of the space. He's choking on his anchovies there. By the way, these are, uh, this is not the bag, but uh, the ones from Free Plug like Friday. It. Yeah, we always see, we always try to support our Free Plug Friday guys and girls. All right, so that's it. Um, if you want, send a screenshot to Rocket on the.rocket.launcher on his Instagram and we'll take care of the rest. It's six o'clock. We made it through. Thank you very much for sticking with us. 150 of you turned up here which is great. That's about, okay, it's about a third, four, maybe a quarter of what we normally get. That's fine. That's more than fine. You know, I'm half kind of in frame of mind of just doing it on YouTube permanently anyway. I don't know. It seems like fun. So till next week, uh, this is Tita James. Be kind to uh, one another. See you then. Bye, everyone. Fair.
fancy meeting you in my internet. Couldn't help but notice your smile while everybody else around us is surfing about. Can we just stop and chat a while? Get away from these gray and boring, lonesome days of our quarantine. First day of the rest of our lives. Love could be waiting at the end of this quarantine. Let's stop.